Okay. So, um, but he doesn't own yeah, that. Yeah, playing, so that's no big deal. Um, that one's an easy one. Maybe you should that but one. You, you probably seek interest. Um, I don't remember. Like, yeah, but you got interest, too. I don't too. know that I have the folders in the right places. I don't know if it's going to be much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was on an account. So, so, but I don't yeah. remember who's doing what, though. Well, you do checks in Carol, right? Yep. Yep, and I do um, correspondences. What chair do you want? Not this one. Okay, so what do you like? You like the, well, like. Um, yeah, I know. Relative. 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 That you just missed from a few weeks ago, which just needs to get signed. Um, you each have a copy of the proposal. The town hall. Um, oh, okay. proposal. So, Miles, what did you think about last night? I thought that was interesting. Um, yeah, I thought it went very well. I mean, I didn't yeah. feel like there was a ton of. <coughs> I, mean, I, I left before the end. I don't know how late you guys say. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot to cover. But the, we still have a lot more to do. John, they're still trying to find that study. Yeah. That we the company to do it for all the town buildings three or four years ago. Yeah. That's fine. It's, I think they are, are busy trying to get on a thing. I thought there was something on a website that could be pointed to. And would, yeah. At one time, I thought there was a website. This is before it was revamped. This was back three years anyway, so it may have been taken off. Oh, or tied in some folder somewhere. What was years. needed for? Yeah, when they hired what was Tanner, I think it was, it went around and evaluated all the town buildings three, four years ago. Yes, about that one. Yeah. Trying to find that study. Black hole. I take it you didn't get a copy of it. What's that? You didn't get a copy of it. No, there was only one printed copy for I said it was up here. Hi, Kim. <laughs> Hi. How's your mailbox? <laughs> it's a running joke. <laughs> yep. She said she was coming. Okay. If she said she wasn't, then she sent it saying she was. I still have seven this morning. They're all over down by here. And oh, we're in the room down there, yeah. Uh, yeah, kid coming around the corner a little too fast, slowing the ice. What you need, her. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Somewhere on nine o'clock. Oh, nine. <laughs> well, people go fast on that. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Why should they go fast all over town? Everywhere. Everywhere. I can't believe it's a long school. I feel fine. They don't enforce it. I don't understand that. We bring the crews in, they'll do it for two way. And uh, you know, we try to do like 10 over or so when the, yeah. you know, the car's backing yeah. up. And uh, we'll drive in the right hand lane. And Kyle will pass a marked police and they're flying high. Are you kidding me? I have a question. Um, Didn't they just pass a thing now where you, you can't impede the flow of traffic in the left lane? Correct. <laughs> but what if you're doing speed limit? <laughs> You're impeding, you're impeding it. I don't know. So that means you. No, years ago, we used to have a uh, keep right except for pass law. They did away with that. Yeah. This was this, right? See, so, Maine um, still has yeah. that. Yes, it's a test report. Now, if you want, you can be the old fuddy daddy and drive one thing right if you want all the way. Yeah. Until now. Yeah. Today. Oh, it's changed. Oh, okay. it's changed. Yeah. So 
in the in May so they had a traffic sign and came down to 295. That is my understanding. Camping but I would, Woods is not in the left lane. I can clarify. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> really, yeah. They have a bunch of funny ones uh, up there. Where yeah. we're doing this. Yeah. My daughter in law is a left lane driver. We live in California. And she's a left lane driver. And Sure, yeah. You're driving in England? Uh, if you don't get over it, like people drive so fast. You're driving so slow, it's in the middle. All of a sudden, lights will come behind you, and, and, and you move over, and they're just like, boom. Yeah. 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 I love watching the car crashes on YouTube and it's like crazy everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. When we went to yes, when we went to when we went to Florida, my sister says don't ever stop at a yellow light in Florida. Because if you stop at a yellow light in Florida, you're going to get rear ended. Just keep on going. They haven't. I'm like, okay. Oh, sorry. They didn't take inventory films. Oh, yeah, that stays on the property. Yeah, you have to own that. I'm sorry. The state police or like everybody else? It wasn't surprised. So, yeah. This is why it couldn't happen at 6. It's not in the library. I'm glad that I can bring in all the frustrations. <laughs> Um, 
Welfare under uh, case 2019-0014 was recommending $212.50 in welfare. Adding rental assistance. I'll make a motion. The first thing was a Form B notification form for the police academy uh, to indicate that uh, Bronwyn Bronsfield is officially changing in the Bronsfield, Bron Lito, as far as the academy is concerned. So we just need to date the signature from the select board as a hiring authority. Yes. She changed her name from Bronsfield. Bronsfield Leo. L E L E T O. To. Say that again. From Bronsfield. Yeah. To Leto, L E T O. All right. And the second form B uh, here is for the. North Fire Police Academy of uh, Oliver Joy's resignation as effective tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Can I ask a question? Of course, sir. Why do we have to know the Academy? Just for the rules. It's the Academy's rules. If they, if Anytime they hire somebody, there. whatever the reason for them leaving is, if they you know, change in rank, they change in name. That's all that I have for the right. right. I don't think you're going to stay. Yeah. 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 You want to play right. okay. All right. So, next item uh, on the agenda uh, is the dealing with the issues coming up for the town meeting uh, for the warrant. We'll, we'll hold off on the rec fund and the nuisance ordinance, uh, although that's when you're too cheap, so I can go through here, uh, and deal with the police station slash town hall proposal. So I will call on you, Denise, as the uh, rep of uh, the select board for the police station committee. So let us know what you all decided to recommend. It. Okay, well, I sent you the documentation that we, um, that was prepared, um, and it was the decision that um, go on, that we would propose um, both facilities to be um, part of the project, which would be two million three ninety one seven hundred seventy nine thousand. Um, and as you can see, this is this is what it's going to look like. I thought this is the revised one. Oh, this is the yes. revised. Okay, so this is the revised. Um, it's also. Um, it's going to be on Silver Street, is the proposal, um, and bonding, bonded is the proposal. Right. And so it doesn't change the, the, the footprint of the building, it just changes the square footage to the right on the second floor. Well, we also had to add an elevator, which... Yeah, and widen the building by approximately eight and a half feet okay. to put in that elevator shaft, yeah. uh, a lobby downstairs, and a uh, staircase. Okay. <coughs> so as I recall from previous conversations, how many parking spaces are we going to lose then if we have to uh, extend that? You're not losing any parking spaces. You're not losing any at all? Mm -hmm. That's great. Now that has been a concern of some folks. So. And as far as any kind of um, future expansion at this site, it's not really possible, is it? Mm -hmm. Not with the existing lot. The only, the only place, because the building is shaped like an L. Yeah. If you had to expand uh, that section between where the L comes down, I suppose you could put something in there. But as far as going uh, lateral, no. If you have questions, please feel free to turn in. So, so just so folks are clear, um, this is the, the first time the board is seeing, as a board, these plans. 
I'm sure the next question will be, well, what is the plan if we go forward with a um, combined facility? What's the plan for this building? There is no plan for this building at the moment because we weren't going to be creating plans for uh, scenarios that may or may not have been presented to us. So we, we don't have a plan for this building. So um, what else have I seen? That the ether people have been either complaining or or praising us about mostly complaining about praising. Um, anything we can think of? Um, uh, for this project in particular, just so I can dispel any rumors before they fester into fact. Um, no, I, I've, I've read the comments, the largely negative, but make do with what we have and we want to build it. The board hasn't, has, hasn't has made a decision yet. This is yeah. What we're seeing. So, okay. So let's go through the, the funding for thank you things for this. So, Bob, uh, we've got. It's uh, the total is if we look at both options first. So if we just go with the police facility, it's 1.5 million bonded over 30 years. We're looking at what 50,000 a year, and then interest 32. Okay, so about 80, uh, 82,000 a year, um, a little less than half of that is debt service. Okay. Um, Everything below here holds true for both sides, or like some of the equipment can be offset by Homeland Security grants, right? Yes, both sides. Talk about oh, both sides. Okay. Both sides. Uh, we currently have about hundred thousand dollars in CIP that we could put uh, towards um, facility or, or repair of the old facility. I guess to be fair, um, that hasn't gone anywhere, and there's no plan to take it out. And spend or anything else, so that still is there. Um, some of that may be used or maybe required to be used for um, to help offset some of the costs for bond council, but that's uh, still available. So we have 50,000 requested to be added to CIP for this fund for many years ahead. That is very true. Uh, use the 50,000 to cover the bond, no additional tax increase, and use it to make up. Use 100000 to make future repairs at town hall for town staff or use a portion to pay the interest. All right. So that's under um, just the police facility. Let me see. All right, let me see. What else do you have there for us? Beginning in 1999, the town paid approximately 50000 yearly for the bond for the town hall renovations and just started at, in that year, started at 37000 and decreased yearly thereafter, which I was seeing the same thing would hold true for this bond. It didn't decrease. Um, to some degree in savings at Town Hall for electricity, heat, AC at the police leave, um, no replacement for the following, unless the seller is used for another purpose. The HVAC each back units that are devoted solely to the police, uh, the floors and door jams, that have been damaged over the years uh, and stained ceiling tiles, painting, replacing the floors in general, upgrading the electrical, regrade the two garage floors, uh, which I'm assuming also have issues due to the water that was collected over the years down there, uh, proper waterproofing, uh, upgrade plumbing, and upgrade hot water system. All right, so if we move over, that's what would not need to be done unless we were going to use the basement for something else. So option two for both facilities. Do you want to add anything? Well, I'm sorry, come on up. Okay. Option two, if we have to combine the two facilities over on uh, Silver Street. Um, money currently in the CIP can be used for this project, savings and utilities, and the new building would be far more energy efficient. And the building can be sold to a developer who would make the repairs in town for collect taxes on the building is one of the proposed scenarios. Uh, um, So $85,000 in principal and $68,000 in principal. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Is, that, is that true? What was the question? $85,000 in principal and $68,000 in interest? That's based on $2.5 million. Okay. So yeah. the numbers, if we okay. stick with the two, three or less, the numbers actually be down a little bit. How about that? Are we based on that in 2.5? And then we talked about the bond there. So the rate is 4.5 or something. So that would be slightly lower than the 85 and the 68. Okay. Um, any idea what the impact of the tax rate is? Uh, 
Three and a half cents per ten thousand. It's on the bond schedule. Fifty. Fifty-two cents. Okay. So. We don't. We don't. Okay. We don't get too far. Thank you. We got the the bond schedule. There was an email that went out, but I didn't. Oh, yes. So it's approximately what fifty-two cents? Is that what we figured out in the first year? Okay, so when in a prior life, when I, last year when I was sort of on this committee, we talked about impact of the neighborhood. Did you all take a look at? We only looked at town hall. I mean, um, police station, pardon. So there will be increased, I'm assuming, vehicle traffic in the town hall is there too. Did you all? Well, take that us, into uh, account at all? Or? Well, we did take this. We, we sent a survey or we sent a letter to everyone. Uh, yeah, on initially, Silver we sent the, the letter out right. to all the folks on Silver Street yep. from the fire station down to Cricket Lane. Yep. And um, uh, at that time, there was the town hall wasn't part of it. Right, right. right. Uh, but the letter did indicate to everybody that the building would be residential in style. Right. So it wouldn't look like all of a sudden in the middle of all these houses you had a big commercial building. Right. So. And as I recall, there wasn't any objection. Was there were just three. Three? Uh, okay. All the ones that were returned. Okay. And how many did we do? It's okay if you remember the exact number. 27, 57, yeah, something. Yeah, so it was a sizable yeah. number. It was a sizable number. Yeah. yeah. So it's a pretty high percentage that you have. And we have, I have personally spoken with the neighbors on, on both sides. Right. And uh, they have no objections. So, the uh, the company that um, seems to be the most attractive, as I recall, sitting here listening to the two presentations a month ago, was Bruin mm -hmm. out of Rochester, and they seem to be the, the most responsible, responsive from the very law. Um, I would call them willing to be involved uh, quite extensively, right? Once, right. They're willing to when and if the board makes any meeting. to go in this direction, yes. so they're willing to. So my lots of concerns. But my first concern is that we have enough time to hold uh, the rest of the number of public hearings for both the bond and um, and a project of this magnitude in general. And we want to have a sizable investment we're asking people to make in the town. So we want to have we want to have a number of public hearings. So let's just look at our look at our town. So, so just can. from a procedural standpoint, Mike, yeah. <clears throat> tonight we would move to put this on the warrant and then have public hearing? I think we would have to tonight because if we're going to go forward with this tonight at the night because there are deadlines that we have to meet um, based on the new system, the SB2 system that we, and the bond we have to follow. And it's, mostly the it's the bond bank, too. But it's uh, the... the Ask you to requirements to take out a bond. Right. So, um, we would next need to make that decision tonight. So, which would mean that I'm going to allow people to ask questions from the public tonight because um, typically we would have this conversation and we would, we would either vote to bring it forward to another public hearing um, and then we could base our decision on whether or not we were going to actually place it on the warrant. We're kind of under the gun at the moment because we don't have the luxury of time. We've been asking for this for a little while, and we understand it's been. We were hoping for a unicorn of a parcel of land, the magical five acre parcel of land that everyone keeps thinking that exists. Um, people are willing to sell and folks aren't willing to sell. So that's why we find ourselves on Silver Street, and uh, we find ourselves here on January 3rd having to make this decision. I know it's not a fault of. Chief of Police, because he tried and tried and tried and tried to get the information. So, okay. So, what I think we're going to do then, unless there, does the board have any more questions about the about the um, proposal? I mean, I, we've seen the we, all three of us sat through the. I don't know if you were, you might not. Okay, the presentation that Bruin and 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 came up with the other company about the other company's name. It doesn't matter. <coughs> So you all have decided that this room was was yes. the better of the of the option. Yes. So it's a reinforced concrete building, uh, <coughs> which can withstand the current 
Category 5 hurricane, something that would be something extraordinary like that. So it's, it's, and it's rated for uh, energy efficiency at a level that I don't think any other facility in town would come close to. So I mean, there are certainly advantages to, to going with this company. So I don't have concerns about not vetting uh, any further for the two companies. I think the recommendation that the committee is, is making is sound as mm -hmm. far as the, the, the contractors go. Mm -hmm. I think they certainly offer the best plans. Um, so we don't need to ask about that. But if you have questions, Miles, because you haven't had the, the, the sort of luxury of sitting through this over the last year and a half, great abstract conversations at least, um, so to ask them. So. Um, no, I mean, I, I think the impact of the tax rate, um, the, the neighborhood, those, those things have been answered. Um, it, it, I, I'm almost certain that the <coughs> alternatives have been exhausted. Um, I, I mean, I, I don't know what other parcels or configurations or ideas have floated. Um, it wasn't. I mean, the the um, people who did attend the public hearing previously was if they were looking to have a place where you could have the the complex be the three mm -hmm. fire police and a town administration. You don't have the luxury to have that kind of land. Um, this there will this will not be able to become the fire station area as well. I mean, we have just, property that the town owns that could accommodate all three of those, but uh, I think it's fair to say they're fairly inaccessible. Right. Unless you want to own a, a, a new room. So yeah. when, we, when we looked at it previously, it was, it was cost prohibitive. Mm -hmm. There are some lovely places behind where I think you were looking um, off of them, around the road, but it's just they're, they're not accessible. Right. Okay. Fine for planting corn, but not so much for building. So, it's a and for conservation. But, um, is is there any idea what the value of this building? Is? No, we haven't gone through any of that. Um, okay. Um, to get an idea of what you know, we could reap from a sale and an ongoing tax revenue. I, mean, I guess we just don't know that at this point. Um, in this, that's kind of a kind of big question in my mind. Obviously, it's not going to be two million dollars. It's not going to. Um, I don't so, but who wouldn't know that until we really check? We weren't willing to check into it until we had a plan. Originally, the um, proposal was to be for a state fund for the station. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then so it, was, it went into a different direction of the uh, police and town administration. I think that makes far more sense, to be honest, because it makes no sense to have a town hall with this size building on, it's my opinion, if you're going to build something, build something that can accommodate everything. Okay. I mean, there's been some negativity about having town hall on the second floor. That occurred. Um, but. I mean, the people who were at the meeting wanted to have the, the dual, um, I think there's pros and cons. I mean, the problem is that we're saying that this building is not um, good for heating. It's, I mean, it's not insulated, and mm -hmm. that's not going to change. So mm -hmm. if you went with just the police station on Silver Street and maintained Town Hall in this building, you're going to have to put some money in this building, for sure. I mean, I mean it's not impossible, it's just, yeah. you know, it's going to cost you probably as much and you still have an old building. And we looked at the um, the operational cost of the facility. Last year, electrical. Mm -hmm. Just based upon what the town of Farmington, uh, they cut their heating and electricity down by two-thirds. Because they had two buildings prior to the town hall. I'm assuming we have a separate police department, which was in the basement of the town hall, and an old fire station. They're now paying about one third, or just over one third of what they were paying for two combined for. It's kind of hard because you don't know what they had versus, you know, 
this building. It's kind of hard to put a, a, a dollar on that. I mean, clearly it's going to be. Yeah, it's clearly going to be cost effective to to have a new building, and the way that this was designed was definitely energy efficient for sure. Um, and it will save, but it's hard to put a. I know, you know, they're saying that they had a lot of savings when they did it, but we just don't know what they had versus what we had, so it's hard. Okay, because we're, like I said, because we're sort of under the gun, I'm going to allow the public that showed up this evening to speak if they would like to. You know, it's not a public hearing. I want folks to recognize it's not a public hearing because it was noticed as such. There will be, there will have to be other public hearings, mm -hmm. um, and we will talk about that if and when the board decides to move it forward. Uh, but in the meantime, so if folks want to make comments, just state your name and your right down for the record. Rollins Road. I did quick math. Actually, I think I recalculated in my head. I think it's going to be closer to 54 cents. This says 75 cents, the first year. That's for four members. Okay. It's just the PlayStation. 50 cents. There's another schedule near Miles that has the um, police only. I'll look around my mess. Okay. Thank you, Joe. Anyone else? <coughs> Again, I know I spoke name, Lorraine Hanson and Watson Lane. Thank you. As you know, I came before you before and um, mentioned that I felt we needed additional data. I still feel we need additional data. I would really like to know people are assuming this building would be sold. Would it be sold in the condition it's in if we were to do it? Um, has anybody given any thought to the fact that of its historical importance? I don't know if anybody's thought about that. I'm concerned that we need to have more information. And as much as I love that new building and I saw that I was here for that presentation, I feel strongly that we should not be rushing into this. We're talking about packing this in this year to try to do this. It would be nice if we could have an engineered study to make sure that what we could be doing to make this building totally efficient and workable before we decided that, because then you would be able to compare this is what we would save, or this is what we wouldn't save, and we would know, and people would know exactly what we can compare, whether we have the old building and the new building, if we kept this or we sold it or whatever. I think we should have all those facts. I feel very strongly that it would be helpful. The other thing that we didn't really have, and I'm not clear that it, we heard it, um, is I don't really know that we knew how much use the police are using this building now you know how many hours a day are they in the building what do they use it for um, I do know that it's substandard for some purposes for people staying overnight um, I'm not even sure that that's really an issue that we should be um, building a new building for whether we're if we're holding people overnight I mean I don't know how often we do it I don't know what our crime rate is I don't know how this will impact the um, you know, if, if we build a police station over there, will it improve response time? You know, there's just so many questions I have about that. I would like to see those questions answered before we rush into this. And it seems to me we probably could do it and reasonably put this on a schedule for next year and still be able to do it should we decide to do it. That, those are my thoughts at this time. Anyone else? Celia so, yeah, Leopold, Washington Street. Um, my first question is probably for the chief and the town clerk, but does this meet all of the new mandated requirements space-wise? Does it give enough room for all the required things that the police department and the town clerk need? Is there going to be room for expansion if more mandates come down that require either one of them to have more space? Um, then does the, one of them have to move out? Um, some of the questions that come to my mind. Um, I'm also wondering about a comparison. I know there was references to Farmington that they did a complex, but <coughs> in this area, I've seen a new police station in the last several years go up in Summersworth and in Dover, and they've been standalone police stations. And I'm wondering if the committee at any point talked to those communities and talked about what made them decide to go stand alone? Because I know at least Summersworth was part of the town administration building at one point, um, and they moved 
out into their own site. And um, those were my main concerns. You. So I think if we're going to consider, name, I'm Kim sorry, Kim St. Hilaire, 14 Turgeon Way, um, if we have to consider the, the costs, and engineering costs and study costs involved um, in doing an IEBEA study for this building, um, and I think that was, what, twenty-five or $30,000 for the school. Um, so we're talking about um, those costs, um, plus any additional costs um, to fix issues in the police department again this year. So are we talking about spending $50,000 that we're going to potentially throw away next year? Anyone else? Anyone else who hasn't spoken yet? We'll come back to you. Okay. Charlie Down, Roland Road. I think this has been in the works for two years, and this isn't the first committee to try to get a police station. I think they should put it on the agenda, have the public hearing, have the public speak, and then make a decision, rather than trying to push it down for another year. Anyone else? All right, well, we're going to go back to our regular board meeting and, uh, and talk amongst ourselves. Then. But you're all more than welcome to stay, of course. So. And thank you for coming. All right, so we look at the timeline. So if we're going to move forward with this, Caroline, what is the, um, do we have the, uh, do you have your, I don't, I don't have a laptop open, so I can't pull up the Google Calendar that has the dates on it. It's okay. You're looking for when you have to set up a public hearing. Um, it's going to have to be a newspaper. It will have to be, um, a day's worth of notice. Um, it's 17 pages worth of right, requirements regarding... But it has to be done by regarding... the 28th or 29th? Of There's something that has month? to happen Monday, so let me check into what that is. But you can set a public hearing date, I believe, for um, two weeks approximately from now, and that should be okay. But there are 17 pages worth of bonding requirements related to now and getting out a warrant. So, um, SB2 requirements? No, well, or, or bonding in general? Bonding in general, regardless of the form of election. So, um, that's why I don't have information immediately available, but I'll check on the basic immediate requirements. Usually, there's the months of prep work that go into the asking the bond council and asking for the bond to use the bond before we get to town again, in this case, deliver a session. So. I um, I personally don't support doing a police station town hall combination. I support doing a police station. I will will send it to the voters though, so that they can make a decision. Um, I think that a standalone police station made a lot of sense, um, but I don't think there's enough room over on Silver Street to have both over there. But again, just one voter, and I will cast my vote no uh, when it comes time. March, but tonight I'll vote to let people have their say in March. So um, I am very concerned, though, so the both of you know, with our timeline. We don't have a, a lot of time to, to wait and see what the deadline is. It's this month um, we have to have a public hearing. Uh, this is a lot of work that's going to go into um, work dealing with the bond bank. It's going to be staff time and our time, so just give them note. So, those critics that um, say we don't need any more administrative support, we've got to find out exactly how much administrative support we need as we go through this process. So. Anyhow, Denise, what do you think? Um, I think we need a police station. For sure. Mm -hmm. And it changed to the dual complex because of the, what the public had to say. Mm -hmm. And I think that um, I think that if we wanted to, we could change the process and get a justification. station. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I, I already stated I don't think it makes sense to build just a police station. So you have every single cost you have here currently, none of it goes away. You don't reap any of the benefits from the sale or any of the benefits of getting bad more tax rates. Um, you got to pay for utilities that are not available. It just doesn't make sense to me personally. In general, I don't support either of these options. I, I, I feel like it's rushed. <clears throat> um, I, I, I realize that it's, it's been on the works for a number of years, but um, here it is at the 11th hour and we're being asked to, to rush this through. Having said that, <clears throat> I agree with Mike. I, I'll leave it to the voters. I, I don't feel like <clears throat> I should hold something up that, that the town should decide on its own. I'm, I'm going to put you on the spot for a second, Chief, if you don't mind. Even if you don't mind. <laughs> How many times have you tried to do this since you've been a, an officer? Not you, not maybe not you personally, but since you've been an officer in this town. It's been a while now. And now, Chief. How many times have, have, have you and your fellow officers and, and townspeople tried to have a new police station? Well, the initial one was in 1997 to 1998. We were the spearhead to get the renovation for this building done. Because, uh, for those of you who didn't know, we had 700 square feet and a small office over there, and that was it. And um, since then, um, we really started this process. We started talking back in 2014. Uh, in 2017, we got really involved with it. We had a plan to go forward for the 2018 uh, fiscal year. However, we were asked to postpone it until 2019. Right. So that's, that's where we're at this but before that, there were planned rend renderings we've seen of a police station from the 1970s. There was renderings from Correct. the 1980s. That right. was Originally, in the 1970s, that was long before my time, Fair. Um, there was a town hall, police department, and fire department for the Silver Street property. Uh, uh, and you know what? I guess at that time, they elected to renovate this building back in the 70s and build them a fire station instead of the new facility on Silver Street. Right. And put a highway department on on Silver Street. Yeah. So I guess the point is, is there's been, been several. This is not the first time. There's been problems. several attempts to do something. Right. <coughs> and I don't think it's fair to the police department that is trying to meet uh, their needs and protect the town um, to make them go through another year of indecision. The police were asked to, to wait a year before we which we brought this up again. So I think it's fair that. Um, they get their um, they get their say of town uh, uh, during the town elections. That's the time we so I think we should be moving forward, especially just for that. But you are the bearer of either good or bad news for us. What's the deadline? You need to post the public hearings. There will be two of them by Tuesday. Okay. They have to happen by the following Tuesday. Plenty of time. You have to have two public hearings. You On have the same day. You're no. You have to have them. no, you you have to have two public hearings. You have to post their dates by this coming Tuesday, oh, and those two public hearings will happen on or by the following Tuesday. So fifteen. Third Tuesday, yes. Okay, they're not going to happen that day. Uh, something else going on. It's going to happen on the fourteenth. It's going to happen on the fourteenth. Can we make that timeline work for the regular meeting? Or just <coughs> the regular meeting after it's over. We already have a public hearing scheduled we do that day for the, um, uh, for the tobacco policy. Yeah, I think we can. We don't even have to have one. We don't even have to have one on the policy. It's not an yeah. ordinance. I just wanted to do it. Um, all right. So the I recall it having to go into the paper, and she hasn't right. said that, and there wouldn't be time for that. Right. So it has to be the fifteenth. So you know, um, I haven't. I haven't read. I haven't read all the requirements, so. Um, so as far as you know, the one you have there it has to be the 15th. It has to be by the 15th. It has to be by the 15th. It right. could be on or by the 15th. You will have two public right. hearings. So the first has to be on before the 15th. Okay. Clearly, we can't have two by then. What's the deadline for the second one then? Or they I... will both happen by the 15th. No, they won't have both happen by the 15th because we don't have time to post them. They will both be posted by Tuesday, mm -hmm. this coming Tuesday, and they will both happen the by the following Tuesday. Yeah. Yes. Question, are they both on the bond? Yes. Two bond hearings? Yes. Not the project, the bond. This is the bond hearings. 
bond hearings, which well, will be about the project. We're already having a, uh, I'm assuming, there's still going to be a public hearing on, on the town budget on the 12th? On the 12th. At 9 a.m. at the school? Mm -hmm. have, it, have it after that? You have to pick a time, assuming you know when that's going to end. But yeah, you have to pick a time. Okay. Assuming that we haven't notified the school, assuming the school's available, I was, you know, I, I don't know that it is. We, we have the, we have the gym reserved until noon. I hope that hope the town budget hearing goes quickly. <laughs> and those that are uh, very contrarian to certain portions of it are, are concise in their in their objections, so it doesn't go on forever. All right, more praise, I guess. All right, so so we'll have one on the twelfth. We've already kind of already at least. If we're going to move forward on this, it sounds like we are, so. So then, Caroline, all right, so the 12th and the 15th? Okay. Yeah. So, so we have to do? Or can we have it? The second bond hearing shouldn't be as, uh, it could be. It shouldn't be as um, either contentious or as well attended as the first one. As I recall from... Um, the last time we did this would be uh, uh, stuff at the transfer station. So why don't we do it? We're going to do it on the 14th. We'll uh, we'll take up the, um, the the policy at the transfer station on next Monday. Then we don't have to have we don't have to have public hearing on it. It's you just don't a, have to. It's a no. board policy, so. So you don't have to. So we're not okay. So so the 12th and the 14th. The twelfth and the fourteenth. We have to have two, right? And they have oh, to the twelfth is a Saturday one. And they both have to be done okay. before the fifteenth. Yeah. So. Or on the fifteenth is okay. No. Okay. So who has? What happens at these public hearings on the bond? I mean, is it is bond council there, or is it something that we're doing? I've never been through a bond before, so. And I did not manage the bond the last time around, so this is new territory for me as well. Um, I don't believe bond council, bond council will not be there. Okay. She wasn't there the last time. Right. So I, I don't believe she's part of that. It will be a situation much like this, perhaps you know, a different venue, and explaining the project and having the, um, we should probably get a new schedule with whatever the revised expected amount is. Mm -hmm. So we need to try and to hand this. that out. And you can hand that out, speak that. to the project, and care for the public. So we need to, um, okay, so it's, it's two parts. It's to talk about the bond. I mean, the, the crux of the, the reason we have a public hearing for bond council is because about the bond. Mm -hmm. But there will be questions about the actual project. Do we think we might be able to have someone from Bruin there that evening? Or that morning, uh, or on the 12th? Okay. Um, if we, uh, okay. For the 14th? Uh, the 12th. Or the 12th. The 12th is a budget committee public hearing. Yeah, correct. We have to piggyback on it. So, well, yeah, we need to talk to him. I think she, John. Why would, why would Well, because he, it's his meeting. You're, you're piggybacking on something you don't know how long it's going to be. We'll schedule later in the, in the day. We'll just have to. That's my point. So this can also be worked out. Um, to know that you're going forward um, it, it is one thing. The dates can be worked out. You're meeting Monday night again. They just well, actually not because yeah, we have to get them the paper. So pick on you, John. The, well, as chair of the budget committee, do you have um, your meeting at nine? On the hearing is at nine, and after the hearing, then we'll meet uh, to decide whether. Uh, to bring the budget, finalize the budget right. going forward. And so I don't, on the 12th, I expect that's going to be a long meeting. That's, I, I can't predict it, but, no, fair but all indications are it's probably going to be a fair amount of discussion. So. Okay. That second portion, that was not a public meeting. That's a, I mean, the public is welcome, but not. It's not the hearing, it's not the regular. That's their so own deliberations. The budget committee's meeting to determine and traditionally, they've just stayed in the same room. They don't have to, but it's easier for them. So. Mm. 
All right. Um, so if we set up, try to set our meeting for noon, I would assume we probably be done by noon. I can't remember when we're going that. Mm -hmm. Is there a possibility we could move into a classroom or something like that to get out of the way? Um, we should be by noon. Well, if Kim says so. <laughs> Uh, that's I've the, seen it go longer, just saying. Yeah. No. That's no. the yeah. town that's one, how correct? how concise yeah. your members can be, Ms. Jordan. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they have trouble being concise. So. Well, it's not that. It's your, your public is also going to have their, their say. As long as well, sometimes they, they decide they're members of the public, too, in the middle of hearing. So mm -hmm. if that doesn't happen, then it won't go as long. So, all right. So we're going to say noon. Okay, so noon um, on the 12th, and, then, um, and we have to also check with the school that the school is available. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it is, and then um, the 14th. Oh, okay, so if it's not available, we're going to be doing it right here. People okay. can stand in the hallways and climb on top of each other, whatever they want to do. I don't think it'll be quite that, uh, but that's what we have to do. We'll have it here if we have to. Can I just drop something? Of course. It's at 9, right? Mm -hmm. Would it be better to do eight to nine for a public hearing versus trying? I don't think you're going to be done by noon no. with just mm -hmm. past history of what budget has been. I, I think that's. So you're saying to do the, the our public hearing from eight to nine. Eight to nine. <coughs> you think anyone will show up at eight o'clock in the morning? So they show me. I, I'm not trying to say not to come. I'm just saying either that or you can move it to one or something. Well, okay, we can do. I think nine is probably appropriate. I mean, I don't speak for you, then. you're the chair of the committee, so I thought that. Any other than nine, I can imagine any folks are going to show up. But maybe. So we can do ours at a later date, then. I mean, we, have to be, we have to be at nine. But mm -hmm. Right. You've already, already noticed, noticed it. It's already okay. Noticed. Right. Okay. It's not enough. So, um, one so one o'clock then. We can also check to see if the um, American Legion is available. In which case, you would prefer noon? Well, Denise should probably have to be there. I have to be there. Oh, okay. So, um, eat? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be. What's that? People Lunch. have to eat, Tommy. Um, so, 1 o'clock, we'll say 1 o'clock, we'll do 1 o'clock. That way you won't, you guys won't have to be rushed, we'll do it at a different building. We'll try to get it to a different building. Of course, we haven't actually voted yet to say if we're going to do this. So, but I don't want you to have to wait forever. Um, the 14th is a night we're meeting at 6 o'clock. We'll just be before the regular meeting. And we will go into the regular meeting as you know, you can stay all night being the public hearing if you need to. And then we'll go into our regular meeting. Okay, now that we've set the dates, we've done this backwards. Let's talk about whether or not we're going to send it to, uh, to a public hearing. Is there a motion to send it to a public hearing? I'll make a motion that we send the proposal to the public hearing. Um, is it both proposal? Yeah, I'm going to go with the 2391 77944. Okay, I'll second that. Okay, so move and second it. Any other discussion? Okay, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? So we're setting the dates of January 12th and January 14th at 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. respectively. Um, and then based on. Okay, so let me make sure I have this process down, Caroline. We've, um, we've just voted to send it to a public hearing. When do we have to vote to place it on the warrant by? The warrant has to be approved by the board by the 28th of this month. Of this month but the budget committee will need to recommend or not recommend all articles containing money at their public hearing on the 12th, the meeting following the public hearing on the 12th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that doesn't work. Well, that, doesn't wow. that, doesn't, that doesn't work. Well, that doesn't work. 
that then we don't have enough time, then, right? So if we look at unless we did the public hearings on the the eleventh and twelfth. We have to have at least seven days, right, to get in the newspaper? Um, three usually does it. No, no, but it has to be well, noticed. Um, noticed. I would, so long. bond council says that if you decide it tonight and post it by Tuesday, then you're fine if you do it by the 15th. So, you know, to my mind, this, you know, what I normally understand to be regular noticing requirements for 10 days and such must not apply. You know, again, I, I haven't re read the, there's a lot of stuff about how to do this. So um, I will get in touch with her tomorrow mm -hmm. and make sure we're on the right track. So what's the, um, even, uh, what are you what are reading from? I'm reading an email from bond council. Yeah. Um, that just says that um, you need to post notice of your bond and budget hearings on or before the second Tuesday in January and hold those two hearings on or before the third Tuesday in January. Okay. And if you have to have both of them, if you have to post it by the 8th, five days, because you don't come for the And the day of, so maybe six, we have the day of. So, you know, actually, I'm reading this differently now, and it says bond and budget hearings. So, um, so to my mind, the budget hearing is the 12th, and that's done, and so you would just need a bond hearing outside of that, I think is what it's saying. So I don't need to have to go with hearings? You post notice of your bond and budget hearings. So it's, you know, it's vague, frankly. Um, so hold those two hearings. So I would say those two hearings are referring back to <coughs> bond and budget hearings. So, <laughs> um, oh boy. Not being an attorney, I'm, you know, interpreting it as I'm, you know, right. as what's I'm the, uh, What's the, uh, does you have the reference to the statute there? Um, no, but I can, pull up the full um, 17 pages of regs and start going through it. Yeah, it you can well, start. Why don't you just pull it up and uh, print out three copies for us. So All right. Four copies. We'll do. We're going to move on to something I'll go away from there. So okay. let's talk about the recreation fund. Um, now we'll talk about the nuisance ordinance first, so that's going to be easier. Um, we will have a, um, also need to have a public hearing on that. But luckily, that doesn't have anything to do with money, so we, uh, we don't have to have it ready for the 12th for the budget committee. So we do need to have a public hearing on it, though, and that the, uh, the warrant needs to be set. I'm looking at the imaginary calendar on, on paper. We need to have that set by the 28th, or we'll do it the evening of the 28th. So I would suggest we have a public hearing on us, on the king day, so that's not going to work, on the... Um, the 14th is not up. <clears throat> oh, we still have to have two. Well, if you're going to find out, we yeah. have to actually have two. Okay. And, and so don't point out also the 21st is a holiday. Yeah. So, I thought that was going to be easier. It is easier because it's not the deadline's 28th. We have to have that one done mm -hmm. right. We could have it on another night of the week if we had to. That one's not going to be terribly contentious. <laughs> so. That was just so, in addition to the minimum housing standards, so the police can deal with nuisance properties. But, all right. So we, that one we don't need to talk about it last because we've already talked to the chief about it last week. Let's talk about the recreation part. Okay. So what did you decide? We haven't decided yet. We're going to wait till I get the schedule in from okay. Caroline so I can pretend to know what I'm talking about, at least have in front of me. So, Denise, what's the, um, what's the status of the recreation fund? That's the rec committee's question. I don't think anything's been done on it. Okay, so it's Is not. Is that correct? Not as far as I know. Then I'm not worried about it. It's not going on the warrant, then, because we don't have the information. Okay. I'm not going to go do anything. I'm not going to go do anything. So they need to, they need to decide what they want to do. Right? 
So you have, uh, in my mind, then until the 7th, that's next Monday, to figure out if you want us to, uh, uh, directly wants to, uh, the select board to uh, recommend it to go on the warrant. It needs to have a public hearing. So that would need to happen on the week of the 21st. I'm assuming, just so everyone knows, we're going to have to meet on the 22nd because uh, it's a holiday on the 21st. Unless we want to meet on the 21st, we can. Do people go away for that long weekend? No. Okay. I don't either. So, all right. So, you know what? We will we'll just meet them on the 21st. So, the rec doesn't have to have a separate public hearing. It just needs to be part of the, all of the warrant public hearings, right? Yeah, what so, do you mean it has to have a so public hearing? So if we're going to, like, so for the nuisance ordinance that, that the chief has asked for, yeah. we would need to have a public hearing. Yeah, but we can do them all at the same yeah. time, can't we? We could, yeah. Oh, okay. We could, but what I'm saying to them is through one of the members who's here tonight, but not directly to her, that would be fair. But that if they really want this, they're going to have to come to some sort of decision and let us know we? because they haven't yet. They keep talking about it, but we haven't heard anything yet, so... There's only so many times you can get a horse to water. So I think we're still waiting on 17 pages to print, so. Okay, but it's not separate public hearings for every single warrant. So it's a public hearing for all of the warrants, right. correct? Um, for, yes, the ones that we're proposing, yes. Okay. We would have them. We would have public hearings. I don't mind the second thing. And then there would be a, uh, it would be part of the deliberative session. There would be a conversation about it there, too. But, Correct. But we would need to have, we need to have a public hearing on this. So. Right, while we're waiting for our 17 pages, um, do we want to go over the, we have the budget hearing on the 12th. We need to prepare. in order for bond council to issue an opinion on the right. um, So it doesn't talk about process. What I discern from it is that we have to provide evidence that we've met all of the whatever requirements. So um, at some point in here, it's going to tell us that we are providing evidence that we did. Um, so, um, first page 5B, minutes of the public hearing on the proposed budget and special warrant articles appropriating money showing that the hearing was held no later than the third Tuesday in January. Um, and A, you can see is the posting requirement. Mm -hmm. RSA by Tuesday, which means that I have to get the notice to them tomorrow. 
Sorry. <laughs> right. Okay. I believe we're also going to need um, the short-term financing line back in the budget with a dollar or some number in it. dollar to be able to use the line. No, I understand that. I'm sure um, we put in. But I'm not sure it was just a dollar. I don't think it was either. a lot of paperwork about certifying what our process right. already is. What, saying what our process ought to be? What it already is. Oh, you okay. know, certifying you minutes, what it proving, is. posting, you know, it's just proving what we already have to do. That's not what to say. Okay. All right, yeah, these are just, yeah. Town clerks, checklist and certificate. Supervisor with a checklist certificate certification on it. So these aren't I'll send them a day and that's alright. So these aren't these aren't things that we have to do before before next weekend. Okay. Alright. So it already is already recognized the public hearing. So we're we're good with the twelfth and the fourteenth then? Well, so you don't need to do anything on the twelfth, but to my mind, um it says public hearing on the proposed budget, mm -hmm. special warrant articles. Um, I don't think you need a special, I think you need the one public hearing outside of the budget public hearing. I think you need a bond, you know, a bond public hearing and separately the um, budget public hearing is already happening on the 12th, so that takes care of one. You just need to have a bond public hearing on or before. Right, the, the and so the bond will come up in a part of the uh, public hearing on the 12th anyway, so what you're saying. Yes, exactly, and that's part of the requirements. And then separately, you need to have a public hearing about the bond itself, which probably would be better suited for the 14th. 14th it is then, so we're not gonna, we don't have to have our own separate We don't have to do anything on the 12th, that's budget committee, that's fine. Okay, 14th it is, at 6 p.m. here. Okay. Oh, 
All right, so a nuisance, town, nuisance ordinance, right? Um, we could also then. That also needs to be in the paper, yeah. You're going to be here anyways, Chief, for uh, the big show on the, on the 14th, right? Yes. So, do you want to just do it um, after or before? How does it get done? Or do we want to come back on a separate day? Or? or can it be done the next week? Yeah. Can it just be done the next week? Carolyn, we still have enough time, right? So. Then that be uh, um, there are requirements about that. There's a there's a calendar about that. Let me let me check. Why don't you bring in the yeah, bring in the municipal association calendar would be helpful too. It can't be after the 14th. We don't have the entire month of January, February in order to do these things. Thanks a lot. Okay. All right, 14th it is. Immediately following the um, public hearing on um, on the bond. How's that? Can you notice it that way? Starting at 6 p.m. or immediately following the public hearing on the... On the well, not bond. starting at 6 p.m. because bond's at 6 p.m. 6.30. So 6.30 so so or immediately following. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Those two are good. And, um, again, I don't know if we're going to have time to do the, the, the rec fund one. I don't see it happening, so... But... All right, so we're good on, on the warrant, at least for now, until ne uh, the 14th. Yep. And so then the 14th, we need to make a decision that evening to be in compliance, or not? With the public hearing. Just the public hearing, and then we have until the 28th, you to said? post the warrant. But keep in mind that the budget committee is recommending or not recommending articles for the warrant on the 12th. Mm -hmm. But yes, the warrant gets posted by the 28th, which is Monday night, so... Right. So we can have it finalized on the, we're going to meet on the 21st. Okay. You are out of the room, not making copies. So. Okay. 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 So we're having a standard meeting on the 21st. Mm -hmm. Although I would probably suspect it won't be a standard meeting. It's going to be all all things town warrant. So, but we can cross that bridge after the 14th. We might not. We might not have to do that. So we might be in better better shape. So, all right. So we're good for the 14th public hearing on the bond for for the police slash town hall. And housing standards at 6.30. Housing, housing standards at 6.30. Can we try to see if we can ask someone from Bruin here to answer any, any questions? Oh, okay. Okay. Did you want to have a clock here? For, uh, for the nuisance housing, piece? Housing, yeah. Um, sure. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe safe for you to do. I'm not sure. <laughs> May explode, so we may want an ambulance in there, I guess. Okay. Are there going to be good with uh, the warrant at the moment? Is there anything else we can talk about on that? Yeah. Okay. Good there. All right. So uh, this was an abbreviated meeting this evening. I want to remember to thank goodness. Um, budget hearing on Saturday, the 12th. So do we need, uh, what's that? Oh, we got a whole week. Goodness. All right, so. Oh, there's one this coming Saturday. For the school. So, I don't have to prepare anything for that, though. No. So, I'm not. School's on their own. They have a full time. 
extensive staff to help with that. We don't. So um, we're going to be um, offsetting staff hours doing things ourselves. So we need to come up with a, I think, a PowerPoint presentation for you um, when we are presenting our, our portion of the budget, our budget, on, on the 12th. Suzanne needs to prepare that, so I think we would need to do that. Can you reach out to Suzanne, please? I have done that. You have done that. Right, okay. See if she'd be willing to share her template with us at least, so we can not to recreate the wheel. That would be awesome. All right. So, but I'm more than willing to, to help with that. Yeah, so, whatever I can do to help also. Just, so what I just thought I might do is take a first stab at it. Based on what Suzanne used to do, mm -hmm. and then forward it to both of you, up to into Caroline, to wordsmith some more. Okay, mm -hmm. so and you'll be presenting it. So I want you to be comfortable as our government designer. So, mm -hmm. okie dokie. All right. So there's that cover. Moving right along. Engineers' recommendations for Wentworth Street, Pleasant Street. Um, this was emailed to all of you, but I had Caroline print out one before the uh, meeting tonight. Um, this is something else we would need to place on the warrant, whether or not we're going to accept, um, whether or not the town, not, not the select board, but the town will accept Wentworth Street, of which, in case folks don't know, is where the new Chinberg subdivision uh, is located. Uh, and is it just Wentworth Street? The very end of Pleasant. And the very end of Pleasant, I thought so. Okay. So our town engineer, Mr. Stevens, from... Um, um, civil consultants over in South Berwick uh, has made a few recommendations, and I would suggest that you all have a chance to take a look at I them. Didn't. I don't. I, I don't remember seeing them. Sorry. Okay. So um, he made a, a number of suggestions uh, along with Mr. Gilmet, our uh, road agent. Um, the site um, at their visit, they had some concerns about inlets and outlets of the driveway culverts that need to be cleaned. Uh, which will have an impact on the um, on the physical um, uh, construct of the road if they're not clear um, when we accept it, you know, the wash gap, that sort of thing. So there's that concern. So I would recommend that we, um, we would tell the uh, nice folks at Chinberg that they need to follow these recommendations. Um, and the one other one, there's some riprap, uh, that's the stones on the sides of um, culverts that are obstructing them, they need to be cleaned out. And um, there is, uh, uh, where's the other one? Um, what's the one I forget, Caroline? Is that it? I think that's it, right? I believe, I believe that's it. Okay, so I was, okay, why don't we do this? Why don't we forward this? Yes, forward to, um, to the nice folks at Chimber and let them know that they need to meet the um, uh, conditions um, set out by Mr. Stevens. And if they meet those conditions, we'll be happy to place on the town warrant whether or not the town will accept uh, the road. Any objection to that? No. Sounds good. All right. Why so we... just a question, though. Um, so once we accept it, it's going to be our responsibility to clean out those areas? Correct. That's going forward. Okay. Well, no. Well, back that up. If there are driveway culverts, it's the responsibility okay. of, the, of the homeowner, yes. Okay. But absent that, it's it still can create issues. At the moment, it's the responsibility of, of the developer. So I think it's probably best to have them take care of it, clean it all out. No. Okay, then it'll, but if going forward, if the town accepts it, it will be responsibility of the individual homeowners to make sure that those culverts are operational. But there was something else that wasn't a culvert that needed cleaning out. Oh, so it's, it's the stones that have fallen in front of the, the culvert. Okay, so, but that would be the responsibility of our highway department going forward once we accept Preparing that road. Preparing the, the gravel and riprap on the side of the, of the road, yes. And what is our um, enforceable, um, What? Wh how do we main make sure that they maintain those culverts? Is that a um, so, event? who has it on their property. What do we have that enforces them to do it? State law. Okay, as long as it's clear. So the, the road agent would come to us <coughs> and say there's a culvert failing, and whatever, pick a magic number on mm -hmm. one of the street, we'll pick on them because they're in front of us. Um, that's failing. Mm -hmm. it's, the town would then notify the resident residents that they need to 
it repair it or okay. it out, whatever okay. whatever is happening with it. Yeah, because the idea is that the towns and the state the state are granting them the right to go over an easement to go over town or state property, mm -hmm. so they need to maintain that. Okay. All right. So we get a motion to forward uh, Mr. Stevens' memo on to Chimber. And with the expectation that they'll meet the requirements here, and then we will place on that form. Yeah. I'll make a motion that we um, forward a letter to um, Chimberg advising them that their acceptance is contingent upon them fixing all the items recommended by the civil consultant. Second that. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Caroline, would you let them know so just I them my that they have until the 21st to actually prove to us that they've done that? That's the night we're setting the, the warrant. And if they haven't, well, they got to wait another year and plow it again themselves. Well, can't you make it contingent in being part of your warrant? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It, it has, has to be, to done be on the warrant, but the warrant has to be posted by the 28th, so he wants to finalize the warrant with the board on the 21st, is what he's saying. So they but I know, but I'm saying, but we're going to put on the in the warrant that is contingent upon the repairs being done. I don't think you can do that. I think it has to be done. The repairs should have to be done before we... Need to, they need to figure this out. It shouldn't be a big problem. I don't think it's going to be, a, you know. There's only like, what, two of them, I think? One of them? I mean, there was, so there's, so there's like this one here. There's mm -hmm. what, four or five of them that, that were there, it was six. So we need to, um, need to clean them up. So. So what we'll, we'll if you get a, a foot or two feet of snow, then they can't clean it out? I mean, so the, the, the risk we run if we don't make them do this before this, this date is it goes on to the warrant. I don't think that it's prescribed by statute how, how the warrant has to be written to accept a road or not. And I don't think we can add in based on certain can conditions. You can add on if there's a well, condition to that. And if the condition is met, then you can... You will be. But 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 consider being in a voting booth, not knowing whether the condition's been met. It says approve it, you know, if conditions have been met. But you're in a voting booth and you don't know okay. how the condition's been met because okay. the ballot's been printed. You can't give them an extra flyer that says, by the way, the conditions have been met. Okay. So you wouldn't know that. Okay. I think. Well, I mean, it could be part of like, the voters' guide, I guess. But I think it, it just adds confusion to no. an already confusing I process, I think. But it would have been better at the town meeting where you can actually physically stay to everyone who's there. That's been done. done. That has been done. Well, yeah. yeah but that that's not an option. All right. So we're, we voted to send that off to Chamber and make sure that they know mm -hmm. that they have to own 21st. All right. Town admin, board member activities. Denise, you haven't been out there anything, right? So. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> So any updates on the, on the budget process from the budget plan? He's forwarded some informational request, and they wanted something from the fire chief. That is correct. They wanted um, a list of how that's paid. They want the formula. They want um, the man hour totals okay. by individual and a list of the individuals and the man hour totals and their salaries. Okay. Um, they also want the police departments um, listed <coughs> as well and the totals. For them. Okay. Um, right else. It was a late tax rate. Uh, they want the uh, they want the calculation of how we do the uh, tax uh, the tax impact, right? Yes. Yeah. It was um, there was some confusion <laughs> about how that was calculated, and yeah. while I gave them the effect of the number, they wanted the equation. Right. So okay. we have to supply that. Um, it was a long night. Um, are we working on the the breakdown of the town administration? Yes. The, th the, the three, three positions that, they want that broken down in the right. budget. The the three positions in that one line they want to see it separately in the budget. Well, that's easy enough. We have that as part of a worksheet. So that's yes. So that's I forwarded enough. that to you, Denise, so that you can forward it to them when okay. you're ready to. I okay. copied it out of the worksheet, so they have that information. But don't they want to see it as a separate line and going forward? Each line. They do, but but remember, it's the board's budget, so that's for the board to decide the structure of the budget. Okay, so, so you can but if you can supply the data that would be on there in another fashion, you can do that. Okay. All right. So yeah, 
we can, we can so Mark said he gave Caroline some information which she's going to share with me later or tomorrow. Whenever the board is ready, yes. He, has, he also has a purchase order and it can wait until Monday, but if you want to hear about it, you can hear about it. There is one thing that has a potential okay. budgetary. Um, purchase order 1568 to the City of Dover for dispatch and um, communication, the MOU communication bit with Dover that we're now into for a number of years. That number is part of the default budget. Um, it's part of the operating budget, too, for this year, $4,452, and that's fine. Dispatch um, went up. It was, um, we were not notified that of that. It just comes as a bill. We just got the bill. So um, the purchase order is for $10,903 for the MOU with Dover for $4,452 plus $6,451.46 for dispatching services. Um, he wanted to bring this to you to your attention tonight, um, as there were some other items in the um, the budget that perhaps you might be revisiting, such as water and sewer bills. Mm -hmm. um, this has a three hundred and sixty-five dollar increase over last year. The line is um, flat funded, so he just wanted to bring that to your attention, see if you would um, consider that with. Um, the water and sewer, and I think there was one other, was there one other line that, oh, there was the um, the town clerk's department that, um, whether oh, it be yeah. tonight or Monday night, yeah. that you, the board can discuss yeah. about whether or not to. So do we, need, do we need to take up the water and sewer lines tonight, or can we on Monday? Um, uh, we don't meet again before that, so Monday would be okay. Yeah. Okay. So we could actually do all all three of them. We can do marks. Is on this going to be? This is going to be out of 19s. This funds. is 19. Okay. This is a 19 PO okay. with okay. 19 funds. Yes. Yeah, I think we can address all of them on Monday night. Okay. And I'll make a list for you so I'm I'm clear as well. But I think those are the three that we were talking about because uh, sewer and water kind of gave us up an approximate increase, so we do have to address that because it's quite substantial. How substantial? Forty percent. The rates are going up 40 percent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, I guess uh, we should be so thankful that the rates didn't increase for how many years? 13, 13 for four. That was prudent, wasn't it? Okay. And 8 for one and 13 for the other. Yeah, yeah. so um, we really should address it at the meeting wow. to adjust our budget. Yeah, okay. Okay. Is there an appetite to move this purchase order or would you no. prefer to wait till Monday? I'll wait till Monday, please. It's okay. not going to do any, it's not going to change anything on his, for this, right? I mean, Monday's fine. No, it's it, not. It's, it's still, it's okay. out there, so okay. that's fine. Um, I do have information for him, from him about how his um, pay is um, structured. I'm responding to you all so that mm -hmm. you can see it first. Mm -hmm. I'm um, creating a spreadsheet so that you can see it as an attachment and how it's calculated. Okay. Um, essentially, there's a point per hour that people attend calls, trainings, special duty, other items. Mm -hmm. um, however, officers, depending on their rank, start with a different number. Um, so lieutenants start with two instead of, you know, and then every subsequent hour is still one point. But they, they, the chief shows up and he gets six points. The assistant chief shows up, he gets five points and ends down the rankings. So that's how they were talking about how rankings play mm -hmm. into it. So there's that, and then any subsequent hour is at one point per hour. That's the other fire. Mm -hmm. So, um, what does a firefighter? They start at one point. Okay. So office, any officer officers starts up with with, a, with with a different number depending on their rank. On the on the beginning of it. Right. Just okay. the first. And hour. then it, they have to that first hour, then it goes. Then everybody's then on one point. point. Okay, got it. Yeah. So I've outlined that in an email. I'll send it when I have the spreadsheet ready, yep. which um, I hope for tomorrow. I'm going to work on noticing and on stuff. Okay. 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 Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. All right. So any other board member activities for the week? I think I have a scrap for regional planning technical assistance committee meeting on Friday. Good morning. No. No. I had mine already this week. You had your meeting yesterday, right? Last night, and yeah. Okay. Alrighty. My folder. Do we have any building permits for this evening? No building permits. Good. We 
have this that we have to do. All right, yeah, so we don't need to check. I don't think we have any building permits. Yeah, she said they weren't. Double check. What is this? This is this this so we do have, have right there. Um, That's the there was a um, an abatement that we already took, uh, no, abatement, uh, I'm sorry, to the collector of taxes, uh, madam, by vote of the board of selectmen. I should say select board, but okay. We have abated the amount of $3,530 on March 19, 2018 for resident taxes due for the year noted below. Cause of abatement database cleanup. For mailing of 2018 resident tax invoices resulted in 340 residents being deleted from the database and are reflected on the attached report. So what that means to all of us is that um, the, the resident tax cards that are sent out, um, there were 348 residents that are deleted for multiple reasons. They've either moved, they've aged out, that sort of thing. They're no longer living, that sort of thing. So actually, okay, right here. 346 residents moved, deceased, or were duplicates from 2017. 67 residents who moved, um, 35... That doesn't come up anyways. Uh, 35 residents turned 65. And five residents were exempt because they were either active military or leaders of a veteran. So that makes you 353. But didn't it say 348 up here? Okay. Anyway, so that's why we have to sign this abatement. We want to vote because we just need to sign it. As long as two people have signed it, it's active. Yeah, I think we're almost done. But, um,. This is um, the text book that keeps the spreadsheet of all this. So. Okay. Any correspondence? No. Well, no, these are just in the bills. Sign the payroll. Yep. All right. Any community input? I'm wondering who will be managing the bonding. I saw what happened to Cecilia mm -hmm. the last time around. Right? She's been wanting to hear. Mm -hmm. um, are you going to hire somebody? You can't put it on Carolina. Mm -hmm. You don't have anybody. We have ourselves. We will have yes. to manage it ourselves. Like this. Can you all free work? We'll see. But thank you. Any other community input? Yes, sir. Um, the you're looking for information from the rec committee um, to what they would like on the warrant, if I'm correct. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. This is the warrant to um, be able to, if you have excess funds, not to turn it over to town to put it in a trust fund to be used for future. I know there is. The Brief discussions about it. I just want to come feel in trouble because I would rather not speak on that. Yeah. Yeah. I hear but it. But that's what it is for. That's Ken's at She just texted Any other community input? Seeing none, have a nice evening. We'll be back on Monday the 7th. Yeah. I'm going to have a minute to answer some housekeeping questions. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs>